Hello, my dear friends. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Sarita. I have one little candle review for you today from Bath & Body Works, and the candle is Birchwood Orchard. Look how stunning that is. Wow. You know, I didn't think much of it when it first came out, but the, it's really grown on me. The more I look at it and look at it up close, isn't that stunning? And then, although it was unnecessary, the wax was colored too. So in these, there were four of them. In these, these like uh, tinted, I mean, it's like a tinted glass. Well, it's a wraparound made to look like tinted glass. Um, so they really didn't need to do the colored wax and they did which was just really, really nice. It matches it. It's it's just really stunning. So this came out, I want to say maybe a month and a half ago, something like that. Birchwood Orchard notes on it are white birch trees, fresh apples, and a hint of clove. Um, and it came out with the spicy citrus grove and the much maligned cocoa roasted chestnuts which I'm gonna do a review for at some point here in the future. And winter, winter was also, it was the first pour of winter for the season. I don't know, oh, there was one more. I can't remember what it, oh, that green one, the, um, the pear, the pear one, pear and pine or whatnot. I actually bought the citrus one and the pine one and ended up returning them before I burned them because I just, I realized that I didn't like love them. So, but I kept chestnuts and I kept this one because I liked both, or at least I thought I liked cocoa chestnuts. It was kind of unclear because it's a very odd candle. I knew I liked this one. This is the one that I just knew that I liked and really hoped would perform well. And for the most part, it did. This burned all the way to the wick clips, <laughs> but this particular wick was having a lot of trouble. So he, extinguished himself long before those two did, which is why there's a little bit of a ripple in the wax there, but for the most part burned all the way down. I can't say it was the most even burn, but the Bath & Body Works candles from this season have not been particularly even. I don't know that this was an exception to that, but it wasn't bad. Look at that, like no sooting, really, really, really nice. And I love this candle. So I talked about this one because I repurchased it over candle day. So I did start to kind of talk about this one. Um, so just to reiterate, this is not a new candle. It is a second year candle. But I think a lot of people did not um, burn it or were not aware of it last year because it came out in the neutrals collection under the name applewood and clove, I believe. Um, and I didn't burn it or, or um, I don't even know if I smelled it, frankly. I, I was aware of it coming out. It was a very late fall wave right into the holiday candles. It got lost in the shuffle and most people were just not burning fall candles at that point. And so, yeah, it didn't get a whole lot of press. Kevin in and L got it, burned it, said it was fantastic seemed up my alley. I really wanted to try it, but I just, I didn't encounter it. Um, so this year when this came out, it went around, the rumor was that it was, um, clove or, um, it was the applewood and clove. So I was excited because I hadn't tried it and I really wanted to try it, you know? And when I smelled it, I thought to myself, yeah, I like it. It's interesting. Um, and it's just grown and grown on me for sure. I did hear reports of people who burned this particular iteration that it was on the weak side. For me, that was not the case. Now, uh, for the first few burns or so, I do think I was kind of getting more in the six realm, which is a little on the light side for Bath & Body Works. But I have to say that the more that I burned it, it settled into a nice, seven at least. 
a seven almost every time that I lit it up. And I did make sure, given the unevenness of the burn, that I was burning it for a good two or three hours before I burned it out. And when it hit like the three hour mark, um, I generally would put it back in the master bathroom. I would open those French doors and it would hit me. So I, I wanna say that for the most part, it was up in that seven to 7.5 realm, which I thought was very, very decent. I found myself wanting to smell it, wanting to burn it, anticipating opening those French doors and just being enveloped in something that was so amazing. I love this candle. This definitely has to be one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candles that I've ever burned. It reminds me a little bit of Vanilla Birch in that it has that kind of nice soft wood underneath what is essentially a cozy, almost body care kind of um, fragrance profile, which Bath & Body Works does a lot. But in my opinion, this the Vanilla Birch and this one right here, Birchwood Orchard, very similar in terms of the way that the wood um, suffuses into that like personal fragrance. And this, in my opinion, is an example of that personal fragrance kind of candle done well, very well. This is the best of it, I think. The quote unquote body care candles, <laughs> like the ones that we saw in Candle Day, and no shade, but like A Thousand Wishes, and even really Into the Night, In the Stars. I love In the Stars as like a shower gel, but it's just, I just don't like it in a candle form. There's a certain very overt body care, shower gel, body splash kind of vibe in many of Bath & Body Works' candles that I personally don't love um, and can sometimes undermine fragrances. This one in Vanilla Birch, flawless. <laughs> it is, don't get me wrong, there is some like body care lotion aspect to it, but it is just Perfect. All right, so with the trees, the apples, and the clove, this one is obviously a lot more fruity than vanilla birch. Very fruit. Very fruit forward. And it is discernibly apple. There's no question. It says apple, right? Yeah, fresh apples. I don't know that it's a juicy apple or a rustic apple. It's an apple that you would put into a body fragrance. I mean, it's not like an oil and it doesn't come across as like a very synthetic kind of apple, but it's it's not exactly a, I just cut apples to put into a pie kind of apple. It's a really nice apple though, it's refined. It's very refined, but it's sweet like an apple. It kind of reminds you, although it, it's not the same fragrance, but you know those Donna Karen apple perfumes? that I like wore like crazy in the 90s. <laughs> the red delicious and the green one, it's like that kind of apple. It's almost like a wine-like um, fruit pop. And then, yes, I, here actually it is truly a hint of clove. I.e., it's, it's, it's not really the thing that you immediately are aware of. And I think you would have to smell long and hard and deep before your mind even went to a spice. It's not a particularly spicy candle, but it is just a whisper and it works so perfectly. So you've got like that beautiful apple clove, just a tiny bit. And then it's suffused throughout with this like beautiful, sophisticated premium wood-like quality. And the wood, and the clove and the apple, like I said, it almost has like a little bit of like a wine quality to it. W-I-N-E, as in wine that you would drink. Don't get me wrong, it's not like boozy, but it just has that very like deep, rich fruit quality that is also like maybe, I don't know, it's it's being, um, uh, uh, what, what do they do when they put the alcohol in the barrels and then they, they it's not brewing it, it's, I'm sorry, I, I. it's late in the day and I'm having a hard time with words today. But there is like kind of a wine, wood, 
alcohol kind of combination there that works, that feels authentic, that feels, it, it just feels right. It feels right, those particular like scent and fragrance notes together. And that's what I'm getting from this. I, if I had to change the fragrance, for me, it was a little bit sweet and a little bit in the upper range. So while it does have like the woodiness, I would say that this is a mid-range to uh, a high mid-range. It's with the apple and the fruit. It just kind of takes it like right in here. And I kind of wanted a little bit more richness and I wanted a little bit more gravitas. Yes, the wood is there and it's anchoring it with the clove like in a really gorgeous way. But for some reason, I just kind of feel like the base notes are missing here and they need to be there. And I was thinking about it. it this one might actually work if it was like a sandalwood or something like that because I almost think that you need a little bit of a cream to kind of cut some of the like clove appleness and to kind of round and round it out a little bit and still provide it that like cozy richness but fill out the base notes a little bit with like a dark deep cream and i'm thinking sandalwood might be a really good one leaning into the wood because then you would have the sandalwood and the birch wood and i just think it would amplify the fragrance even more as i said i was getting consistently toward the end at least a 7 to a 7.5 so i can't necessarily say that it's like weak but I did think it was maybe a little thin and a little high pitched for me. I would love to see it sit a little bit more comfortably in the mid to low range. And for that, I'm not even sure that you wanna add a ton more wood. The only way that you would add more wood is if you were adding more cream, I think, to kind of offset and not allow the wood to dominate the apple and the clove, but just kind of really I don't know. I, I feel as though it would be more pleasing with that like cream and depth kind of combination there. So I, I don't know, but then on the other hand, maybe it would just like muddle it. Maybe it would be muffled, you know, if you did that sort of thing. I don't know. It's definitely a fragrance I would want to work with and see if I could tweak to become even more powerful than what it is right here but even as it is i love this candle i really do and i hope it keeps coming back i don't care if it's birchwood orchard although for some reason my mouth doesn't trip over that the way that it needs to i think it's kind of a mouthful um and i think that the applewood and clove kind of like it it feels better for me just to say at least um I don't care what it is, but it's it's a stunning fragrance and it needs to come back. You could burn this at any time. You could definitely burn this in January and in February. There is something very evocative with the apples and the clove of kind of like a September. Um, yeah, like a September burn maybe or any time like in the fall here. But it really has enough wood that you could burn it at other times too. I do think it leans cold weather or cool weather for sure. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Also, not only was it stunning, just the label in and of itself, not only was the wax colored, but when it was lit, it was so beautiful. I actually took a video, here's a little video of like at late at night and late into the candle actually, deep into it. This is what it looked like when it was burning in a very dark room. Isn't it stunning? Wow, there was just something about like the, the, the leaf patterns that they had and the way the light came through it. Um, this packaging just knocked it out. The only thing was like the lid was like phoned in. It was just a generic lid. But yeah, I'm super impressed and they kept it in that $26.95 price point. Frankly, they've had a lot of candles that were pushing that price point up and really didn't have the same effect. So I think this is fantastic. I highly recommend it, and I bought one on Candle Day, so I know they're still in your store. I really do. Um, mileage may vary on the strength and throw because I did hear a lot of people were unhappy with the strength and throw. So I would say expect a six. 
and then if you get more than that it will be a pleasant surprise i had some burns that were in the six range but i had far more burns that were in the seven to seven point five range and for me that's that's fantastic that's at quite decent especially given the fragrance which is as i said a little on the sweet and thin side that's what i've got for you gosh i hope it comes back but i bought another one <laughs> so that if for some crazy reason it doesn't. I'm set at least for next season. I'll catch you guys in the next one.